Oh, hi there. Name is Florence Gardenfield. Nice to meet you. I, I wasn't expecting to have to talk today. I didn't even see you there. But if you're in the market for a new vlogging camera or lens, may I suggest the Canon 800 millimeters? It's one of the more practical focal lengths. I could be in the shot. I'm probably in. It's a good shot. I can see that moving. I just can't tell if I'm in the shot or not. Oh God, it looks like I'm trying to break into this car. I promise you, I'm maybe later, but not now. I feel like, is that a car behind me? Is it giant? You're ruining my shot. I'm Florence Gardenfield, God damn it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. If you're curious on how I was filming that, I put the camera right here. So that's where we were looking. I unfortunately couldn't get the dumpster in the shot, but maybe next time. So I was standing on that sidewalk before the street, and then I ran across the street. How y'all doing? <laughs> I think I'm in the shot. There's nothing dangerous about this. How far? Can we get as close as we got the back then? Oh yeah. Just as good in a smartphone, Canon. Ah, oh, you're bullshit. So I was right there in the Illuminati house. That's good times. A lot of satanic rituals there. Gotta love that. Oh God. Oh God. You better have tracked that whole shot. I never noticed this before, but right now we're in 1080p. You see the pizza pizza sign? When we switch into 4K, look at this. It's Camera Canada. Oh, wow, look at that. I thought they were in London. I can't believe how far this lens zooms. Let's all go to Camera Canada tonight. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's so realistic looking. That's amazing. Thank you, Camera Canada, for lending me the lens. Hi. Uh, that's as far away as I can get in my house. So we're going to review this lens, get some photography, birds. I mean, there's got, there's bound to be a bird. Now, before we head outside, since it's raining, Oh, you flat earth weather. We talk a little bit about the build quality. My first impressions of seeing this thing. I've never even held a lens this big, but this is like smaller compared to most lenses. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked that through my affiliate links, this lens is only $900. For an 800 mil, it's sharp. It looked fantastically sharp. We'll see how the autofocus performs for birds. So you just unlock now lock now you can use it that that gets a little top heavy that's a little awkward in the one hand but if you're supporting it it's not like undoable i don't know about carrying it yeah you could drag it you could drag it you might smash the front end element it's got some buttons for control in case you like that this is a clicky you could use that for the iso this for focus there's no zoom or changing of apertures. It's Tony 11, then you're stuck with it. You are stuck hard. And the front element's a 95 mil filter thread. Good luck with getting a black pro mist for that thing. Oh, that is too bad. I'm thinking with the Canon EOS R, this might be the ideal pairing because 4K video, 1.7 times crop. If you got the teleconverter as well, forget that life. That's, you got some reach. And then you put enhanced stabilization on, which crops further. You're looking at something potential here. So we're gonna try some stuff. I'm curious to see how's the handheld video. Is that stable enough for us? How's the photo autofocus? Let's go outside tomorrow. I'm hand holding it. We got people at the beach. We're at the beach. Look at us. Oh, they're playing tennis. Women playing tennis. The cinema's ours. <laughs> I'm here with Discovery Camera. What's up? Go subscribe. He has one video. One. It's the best video you ever okay. seen in your life. There'll be more. There'll be more. There will be. So we're gonna, you see that? I bet you don't. Way out there. I'm gonna try to zoom with that 800 mil at this tank thing. 
Let's see how much better Canon can do than a smartphone. Because you better. You're heavier. You're fat, Canon. Okay. We're in 1080p. No stabilization. Only in the lens. We're going to switch to 4K to see. Huh? 1.74 times crop. Let's do it. We're in 4K. No stabilization. I'm going to put enhanced stabilization on. And we're going to meet those workers out on that warship or whatever the hell that thing is. Okay, we have enhanced stabilization on. Okay, there's nothing enhanced about that. It's jumping a lot. Can you see any workers? Are they in need of our assistance? Okay, now we're on a secret. It's a Panasonic G9 with the 150 to 400 at 400. It seems more stable. Doesn't quite get as close. Oh, the duck magic. Oh, wow. Oh, Panasonic, you never let me down. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay, so look at the size difference. What the hell, man? And it's a 100 to 400. I could only see the 150. That's on me. That's user error. And that's with this fully extended and even the hood extended, so. And it was so much lighter feeling. Damn you, Micro Four Thirds. If you want reach, I think even this, like this is a life hack lens with the Tony 11. It's just small enough. It's still way too heavy. It's too heavy. Here's one of 900 shots taken of a dog at a beach before he walked in front of the blue lamppost off in the distance, creating a hazy effect that I went for purposefully. He's looking up at his owner, wondering if he'll get a snossage treat. He thought they ran out last night and he was disappointed. That's what he thought this walk was all about, to get more snossages. Here I've contrasted a white seagull against a beachy backdrop. The red eyeliner he's using right now was purchased at Camera Canada. Even at Tony 11, the tonne is so smooth in the background as to be non-disruptive. Oh god, he looked at me. Oh, that was terrifying. When seagulls pierce through your soul like that, they're often reading your mind, wondering where the fish is. Are you hiding a fish? Did you spot one in the lake? If you do look at it, I will fly over and eat it. This much blacker seagull is into hip hop, I imagine. He's got a bit of motion blur to him. It's not my fault for moving the camera as I took the shot. It's because it's they dance. I did manage to capture a two to one sky to ground ratio with the bird in the middle. So we should just applaud that for a second. He then turned his gaze upon me, somehow spotting me 800 millimeters. I don't understand how he saw me, birds might have better vision than humans. I waited for him to peek his head above the horizon line of the ground meeting the water in the background so he could symbolize the togetherness of both fields of land and water. Here's a bird in flight using a tungsten white balance that I purposefully hit the touch bar of the Canon EOS R switching it over to because I wanted a cool look to make it like it was a, a night shot with a family in the background. The bird is trying to kill their baby that they left behind. The man in the middle appears to have a camera bag, probably full of Nikon gear, that he's about to throw in the lake. He heard rumors that they're going out of business and he noticed that they stopped caring many years ago, so he's right to do so. Here's a robin, he's just chilling in the forest, so robin-like, perfectly sharp. I planned this shot so hard. I made sure to get the back side of the bird instead of him facing me because no one likes to see an animal's eyes. They're haunted. Here's an experimental rule of one-tenths, and you put the bird at the very bottom of the shot, and then you wonder what's above him. Everything, everything is above him, because he's humble. He's teaching us humility. I'm not that important. I'm just living my life as a bird, and you can too. All right, I think that's enough photography. I suck at my job. Here we are, just full HD. I'm on a tripod now doing super smooth pans <laughs> that are not smooth at all. The people are enjoying the beach. There's police everywhere. Apparently there's a... No, we won't talk about that. Oh, there's a bird. Are you gonna fly? Uh, no, I missed it. That's, that's on me. Okay, I see a bird. Oh, let me get him. Where is he? I can't see where it actually is in real life. Oh, it's such a magical shot if I could just get it. Oh, there. Oh, no, focus on him. 
Oh, Cannon, you piece of shit. Oh, we had it. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my friend. He's vlogging. Is that him? I think that's him. It's tracking him. Oh, you're doing it good, buddy. That's hilarious. He's so far away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cannon's eye tracking him. This is totally doable. We're in 4K. Oh, you're getting a little tight. It's a little tight, buddy. Let's all subscribe to Discovery Camera. You're gonna sub? He's using the Fuji X-T4, 18 mil Tony 2. Thinking of selling it to him. <laughs> there, we got a seagull. So we're in 4K now with enhanced stabe, maximum crop. That's like 200 feet away from me. Oh, he's enjoying the waves. Oh, the cinema is ours. Am I even recording? <laughs> yeah, we're recording. <laughs> that would have sucked. You would have missed this. A seagull. What's he thinking about? Something. That's for sure. He's got friends. Can we find them? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a seagull's ass. And then... No. I bit off more than... Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he's a fast one. He's heading places. Oh, he just tried to bite something. There's a robin. Oh. Uh, I found a red wing blackbird. I love those things. Oh, look at him I don't go. I've seen those as a kid at all. Where will he go next? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to maybe punch in on him with 4K. There he is. We got him. 4K. I somehow reacquired him. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I want to tempt fate and go for the... Oh, the magical ridge. No. Focus on him. Walk up to the ridge and yell something. Yell freedom at the top of the ridge. Oh, the magic is ours. The magic is ours. Oh, he's at the ridge. The cinema is ours. Oh, he jumped on top of the hero's perch. Oh, I wish there wasn't a black tree in the background ruining my life. Oh, get off the perch. Get off the perch. Okay, fly off in majestic fashion, up to the right. Oh, he did a bellow. Uh, he didn't fly. Oh, he's just leaving slowly. Listen, oh, people are walking in front of, oh God. We got cops patrolling the beach. I have no idea what they're even looking for. I've never in my life seen so many cops on the beach. We got some Mounties, horses on, Police back, I was gonna say. That's that's backwards. That's a little off. Oh, there's a family gathering in front of them. Back to the police officers, keeping us safe. Looking for criminals. Making sure you can sleep at night. Thank you, officer. Oh, hi there. Name's Jack Cunningham. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm just having my friend track me. It should be no problem for him. It's an 800 mil lens. It's not that tight, really. <laughs> he should be fine. If That's on him. If he missed that shot. It... We're good. He's one of the best in the business. That's Discovery camera right there. He'll get you any time. You just ask him to hold the camera for you. He'll get you in the shot. He'll get you. <laughs> you better be getting me. He wouldn't ruin the shot for me. I know he wouldn't. I'm out of breath. I'm in shape. I want to do fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was so hard. <laughs>
I lost. Okay, you were darted the second. The first time you darted, somebody crossed you. I totally lost you for the longest while. So my impressions of the lens as we try this new stick, the Altura. <laughs> That's all we know about it. It's a super long selfie stick. How's that doing? It hurts. It hurts the forearms, but I like it. So that 800 mil lens is good. It's a nice lens. It focuses pretty okay sometimes, not all the times, but most of it's just user error. I suck at my job. I newfound respect for nature photographers just waiting for that perfect moment. And then it's like, how do you see it? I see a bird and then I'm like, how can I find that? Where is it? It's so tight, it's so hard. So respect has been earned. I switched lenses. We got Tony, a lake Tony, take that. So do I recommend you purchase this lens through my affiliate links or a Camera Canada? <laughs> they lent me the lens, did I not mention that? Oh, I'm a terrible business partner. Fantastic lens, I would almost consider it. If I was a nature photographer, you ain't getting, there was a guy here, we talked to him, I should have filmed it. He was shooting on a Canon 7D Mark II with a 600 Tamron. He was laughing at me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm in incandescent white balance. We cheered him up due to my stupidity. So, fantastic lens, full frame with that quality. I try zooming on this thing, it don't reach, so. Thank you for buying the lens. It's cheap too. For Americans, $900. For an 800 mil, you get plenty of background blur. It's just the light. It's a little low, but Canon high ISO performance. I'll leave. I'll go. <laughs> Subscribe to Discovery Camera. He's a Fuji shooter. Fuji He's, and Panasonic, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a video. He's a big Penny Boy fan. I even have a shirt. <laughs> That's sad. Sad shirt. Panasonic pony. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's We're leaving. Joke. I don't have to get it. Nope. <laughs> All right. See you later. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>